North Carolina suing the e-cigarette maker Juul, wow. accusing the company of marketing to underage teens using unfair and deceptive tactics. Joining us now, Josh Stein, Attorney General of North Carolina. Mr. Attorney General, what do you want out of this, co of this company here? Do you want to change their behavior or do you want to put them out of business? I would definitely change their behavior. I'm not trying to put Juul out of business. There are adults who prefer vaping over smoking, and I've got no problem with that. But Juul has targeted young people, including minors, in, their, in the way that they've designed and marketed their product, and they're deceiving the public, including minors, about how addictive the product is. That's what I want to change. I want to change their behavior. Um, North Carolina is a tobacco-producing state, isn't it? Yes, it did, absolutely, yes. Are you sort of going against your own interests here? <laughs> it's a fair uh, question. My interests, yeah, my, my interests are very clear, and that is to make sure that children are not injured through corporate bad behavior. And that's what I'm concerned about. We have a company that has targeted young people in terms of how they've designed the product, how they've marketed the product, and how they've distributed it. And as a result, we have an epidemic, and, and those are not my words. Those are the words of the Trump administration's Surgeon General and FDA Commissioner. This is a growing crisis, and it, it, if you don't have kids in middle school or high school, you may not be aware of it because it is so new. It's only in the last three years. But if you do know kids in high school, ask them, and they will tell you it is everywhere. You cannot go to a school bathroom and not encounter kids jeweling. That's really quite something, and I, I know you're right, sir. I mean, from personal experience and the experience of my friends, I, I, you're definitely right about this. But is, is there one way that you could put your finger on that would absolutely stop youngsters getting hold of a dual e-cigarette? I mean, you can discourage it, but how do you absolutely yeah. stop it? The most effective thing that could happen is to get rid of the fruit and dessert-flavored pods. 81% of kids who jewel say they do it because of the flavors. They like that sweet flavor, and then they get a little bit of nicotine buzz, but that nicotine buzz is incredibly intense, and then it hooks them, it, it addicts them to the product. Right now, uh, tobacco, cigarettes, they can only be f in the normal flavor of tobacco or in menthol. And if what we want to do is help adults get off of tobacco or menthol-flavored cigarettes, we can allow them to have tobacco or menthol flavored jewel. We don't want to have the, the mint or the creme brulee or the cool, mm. cool cucumber or mango, which are the flavors the kids are smoking. Yes, sir. Josh Stein, Attorney General.